Hey everybody, this is Matt, and I want to share with you a strategy called the one pager. And the one pager is based on this theory called dual coding theory, and it's by a guy named Alan Pavia. Now, what have what this theory states is that we have two different cognition subcognition networks that specialize in learning. So one is dealing with the nonverbal stuff, um, how things are represented, and the other is dealing with language, right? So the one pager strategy is a perfect tool for combining both of these networks into assessment, a great formative assessment tool so right here. So basically, the idea is to create one page, and that could be paper or that could be an electronic tool to strategically share what you've learned. And it's going to contain a mixture of text and imagery, right? So let's say, for instance, you're analyzing a text, an article, a video, maybe a TED talk, even a lecture, you're going to take that information and you're going to extract certain ideas. Okay. And the best part is that this gives students a chance to be creative and gives them some autonomy and choice. So what sort of things could be in this one pager strategy? Well, as you can see right here, um, we have quite a few ideas. So let's go ahead and take you into a tool that I find very effective for this one pager strategy, and that is Jamboard. Okay. So if we're using Jamboard right here, one of the first things that we would do is we would put in a title. Okay. So it's really important to put in the title, whether that's the title of the lesson, the TED Talk, or even the article. For this example, we are going to do the water cycle. Okay. So we have water cycle right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop it right here in the middle of my screen. Now, there's other things that you would want to combine. All right. So first of all, you'd want to illustrate the different components of what this means. So I'm going to use the drawing tools and the shape tools to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe draw a uh, sun right here and just pop in some color. Um, I'm going to go right here and I'm going to look for some cloud clip art. OK, there we go. And maybe what I do is I draw in green a hill. OK, it's not the best hill in the world, but there you go. And uh, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some rain. OK, as you can see, and then I'm going to draw the water and then some arrows and pointing up. So basically what I'm doing is I'm combining imagery right now with text. So I could go through and I could label these different parts, right? So I'm going to do precipitation. Oops. I'm going to just go over right here. Maybe I'll put it in the cloud. Um, maybe the uh, next thing I do is runoff. Okay, so you get the idea. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm providing some of those different things. Let's show you a more advanced uh more advanced and more detailed one pager right here. So here's the one pager that I've been working on on universal design for learning. So let's say that you and I sat through a lecture on universal design for learning. And so right here, as you can see, I have some different components. I have the main title right here. I also have different vocabulary terms that are associated with it. So goals, methods, materials, assessments, and I have an illustration of what it means. But there's other things that we could add. So with this one pager strategy okay you could probably you could add um, the main idea important terms which i showed you earlier and uh two quotes or two items that jumped out okay so let's show you what that would look like here here's the main idea okay and what i did is i provided two quotes from the lecture right up here okay and then i decided that i wanted to provide some visual illustrations as well um, some things that you could think about in your brain so for example right here i put down a square and i put down in this example of how do you draw your squares that was an activity that we did in this particular lecture then right here we said are you stretching your rubber band that relates to this particular brain network and it gives a good visual cue then there's down here is a puzzle piece. So the idea is to provide examples, to provide um, important terms. It's almost like an infograph of the actual um, item. Check out Twitter, check out Pinterest, and even uh, many other blogs for some examples out there. You don't even necessarily have to model it like this, but the whole idea is to strategically get kids combining visualization 
and text into a one page summary. It could be an, a low tech example, um, just using paper. Um, you could have a template available for students to be able to use. But the whole idea is to get kids reflecting on what they've learned.